Hey there, hot stuff. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my vibe, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. Everybody who already has, thanks, Scorpio. If you would like a personal reading, a cord cutting, or a breakup coaching session, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. It is in the description of this video as well as the link in the bio. If you would like to enter to win a half-hour FaceTime reading. Oh, my goodness. Once again, angel number 777. Guys, seven sevens in the house. Sevens. Very spiritual number. This is a daily tarot, Scorpio. These are timeless messages. They are whenever you are receiving it. The overall energy. Surrender to receiving love and support. And the ten of wands in reverse. Allow love and support in rather than trying to handle everything yourself. This can take pressure off and nurture you. Some of you may be uh, struggling with your feminine energy where you feel awkward. You feel strange to allow people to do things for you. Um, I just had a reading with one of my dear regular readers who I now consider a friend. And we just talked about it and she said well I feel like I don't want to owe them and often when you're used to being in a, um, a masculine energy because you're single and you're making your world go round and perhaps your children's and everything else you will start to feel uncomfortable in a feminine energy and feel uncomfortable with receiving love and support if somebody wants to do something for you out of kindness or to help you, Scorpio, in the next few weeks, just say yes. If somebody gives you a compliment, thank you. Not, oh no, this old thing. Allow that feminine energy to get into that feminine energy so you can really start learning how to receive. Sometimes when we're in a masculine energy all the time, we will not receive manifestations because we have got to be in a receiving energy for a lot of things to come into fruition. Learning how to balance out that masculine and feminine energy is very important. Some of you are very burdened and you're not quite sure where the hell you can lay down your wands. You're burdened, but you have nobody to help you and you're very overloaded or everything feels hard when you are in a low vibration. Sometimes getting your kids off to school and getting yourself to work can feel like you already have got your day in. You're tired and exhausted and uh, or just life in general may be really exhausting to you right now. Learning how to receive help and love is what you're being called to do. Angel number 777 here, prosperity, abundance, spiritual awakening, and divine intervention. This message is most likely to reach you during intense uncertainty. You'll come out winning from everything that may come your way. It's also a sign that you have much life experience and wisdom to share. Scorpio, you are very wise people. And um, it looks to me like angel number 777 is, is something that you need to really keep your eyes and ears open for. We just pulled that yesterday. I've used that deck about four or five times. I've shuffled it. I've cleansed it. And here it is again. Angel number 777. Be on the lookout for it. <clears throat> Tell me, Spirit, what is the daily message that Scorpio needs to know? What messages do we have for Scorpio, please? Balancing out your urges and impulses here. You're being persuaded. Be careful who you trust. Surrendering. Unable to control an issue and lack of support. 100% what I am saying. Some of you, you are really feeling overloaded and like you don't have a lot of support around you. If you do not have family in your city or you don't have a big family or you don't have a lot of friends and you're doing it all on your own, pray. 
get a list, micro goal set, work on one task a week, you know, make your work smarter, not harder here. Somebody may be uh, trying to persuade you or may soon in the next few days try to persuade you to do something that you don't feel comfortable doing. Just a heads up here, Scorp. Some of you here, why this? Or someone around you that you cannot trust and you have to be aware of this person. There could be somebody coming on in, Scorpio, that you were in a long-term relationship with at some point. They could still be attached to a third party for some of you. For others, there could be somebody telling you that they're not drinking, they're not drugging, they've got their act together. But in some ways, that is a lie. Some of you, there's a earth sign feminine energy around you that you cannot trust and you have got to keep your eyes and ears open for this person. Do not allow them to persuade you and do not allow them to drag you down to a low vibration. Um, Scorp, some of you, there's people around you that are not good for you. They're not healthy for you. And quite frankly, they're one of the reasons why you're not moving forward or experiencing the elevation that you could if you didn't have them around. We are always taking on the people we spend time with the most vibration. You play with shit, you smell like shit. My, my famous saying to my children when they were small, because when you are around someone who is in a low vibration, you do not realize it, but you automatically lower yours and you will start taking on their toxic traits. That's just what we do. They do not raise theirs. So if there's someone around you that's a gossiper, that's a liar, that's dark, be careful of being persuaded by them. Travel and explore, experiencing new things, reach for the stars, hoping for solutions, longing for home, losing faith in life and your prayers will be answered. Some of you are just praying for solutions. You're trying to figure out how to lay down these burdens. Um, in your life and you're about to have some answered prayer tell me about that you could be traveling i'm taking my children and my mom to um, mount airy in the poconos for the next three days we're leaving tonight and uh we will be back on tuesday we're just going on a little mini girls getaway and gonna be pampered and such i will not be posting on Monday, but Sunday and Tuesday, I will have a reading for you. You're trying to pray for solutions within your marriage, within your relationship. Some of you are praying for solutions. You want to find a partner. You want to have someone to spend your life with. You want a life partner. You could be single and on your own. One of the reasons why it may be slowed down is you have to get better at getting in your feminine energy, Scorpio. Some of you are actually in therapy because of a lover, because of somebody who caused a lot of burden and you thought you could trust. You could be dealing with betrayal trauma, guys. If somebody betrayed you very badly and um, you, you're feeling physically sick, you're feeling tired and low, please do a little research on betrayal trauma. There could be a Leo or a Taurus or a Aquarius in your life causing you this burden. You have unquestionable strength, Scorpio. You are much stronger than you give yourself credit for. But you may be in this strong masculine energy and it's time for you to fall back now and get in your feminine energy. Moving on over here to money. Surrender to creativity and the ace. So, Pentacles at Claim Spirit, new money here coming in for y'all. Some new job opportunity, new opportunity to make money, some kind of uh, divine gift, a gift from the gods. Let your imagination soar. Stay open to all creative ideas. 
about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem. Being called now to open up that sacral, surrender to creativity. You may want to start a creative project. You may want to start drawing, coloring with orange and bright colors, eating a lot of orange, wearing a lot of orange, really opening up that sacral. Starting a creative project would be awesome for you right now, even if it's just a little craft project with the kids or a little craft project for yourself, getting those creative juices flowing. You have some kind of opportunity coming in, but you're going to need to use your creativity for it. It may not be a nine to five. Be crafty, hidden creative side, and your hard work will pay off. Success through luck, and it is okay to take a risk. Keep your eye on key players. Believe in miracles. Don't give up hope and magic surrounds you, my friends. Magic surrounding you, Scorp. Success through some lucky break. Your prayers being answered, but it's so important. Double confirmation here. Opening up your sacral. You have some hidden creativity that you may not even realize you have. Just starting a, a even coloring and a coloring book every evening or, you know, drawing with bright colors, it will start opening up your creativity and you may discover that you're really good at something, that you have some talent and your sacral's been blocked and you're able to freely and fully express yourself now. What is this magic surrounding us? I'll claim that part, spirit. I claim that part. Magic surrounding Scorpio, please. High Priestess energy here. Magician energy. My goodness, guys. And the King of Pentacles. Mm -mm -mm. Scorpio, some of you have a very attractive, very secure, very grounded masculine energy getting ready to manifest into your life and this person will offer offer you a new opportunity some of you you're going to meet somebody that does very well for their self in as a lover and they will change your life in great ways it will be some kind of miracle your intuition is telling you which direction to go. You are manifesting some things. You will receive a reward. Your hard work is about to pay off if you've been doing the work on yourself, really doing the shadow work, really learning those spiritual lessons, Scorpio, and working hard. You will have some reward from the divine. Remember that Never trying something is actually failure. Trying and failing is much better than never trying in my eyes. In my eyes, if you're never able to put yourself out there, think outside the box or try something that you're that scares you, doing it scared, I feel like is more of a failure than someone who tries to do something and fails. Oh, well, if you fail. Step out your ego and just put yourself out here so you can start manifesting bigger things. Remember, we will get back as much as we put out. If we're putting out, uh, you know, mediocre, we're just barely trying, we're waking up, dragging ourselves through the day, going to work, doing the bare minimum and coming home, we're going to get that back. If you're really putting yourself out there, showing yourself off and really honing your talents, you're going to get that back as well. Magic surrounding you right now, my friends. Somebody here could like to play pool. Somebody here could have uh, lavender mauve tinted hair or something. Blonde, but mauve almost. Something like that. Moving on here to love a Pisces or a Virgo could be important when it comes to your money and finance. Surrender to silence and the six of wands, some kind of victory coming in for you in the love department, having victory, feeling victorious, feeling like you won. If there was a winner or a loser in 
your love situation, Scorpio, you are the winner, hands down. In quiet meditation or contemplation, let go and enter the stillness within. Silence can heal and replenish you. I've been taking um, a lot of, I've been doing a lot of walking meditation where I walk, I don't put in music or a podcast or YouTube. I listen to just mother nature around me. It's been so refreshing and so replenishing for my soul. A 20 minute walk in nature, in silence, can do everyone a little good. Just doing that a few times a week, Scorpio, can really help open up that third eye and, and ground you to Mother Earth. Go out and smell fresh air. Go out in nature this weekend. Go do something that replenishes your soul in silence. You may need to start working on sitting for 10 minutes in silence, not being on your phone, shutting off the TV, and really allowing um, yourself to just be with yourself, to make a decision about love. Victory. You will overcome every any problem. I, Scorpio, I'm telling you, you have some victory to come. Some of you, it's a victory with another person. You all are going to have a really happy ending. Others, you're just having a victory because you, you're moving forward. You're feeling good. You're standing up. You're no longer sad and grieving and letting someone hurt you repeatedly. You're standing on top of the mountain, baby. You made it to the top. It's nothing but gravy from here, Scorpio. It's all gravy, baby. Mm. So good, Scorp. If you have been doing the shadow work, staying away from toxic lovers, staying away from toxic people here, you have some really good luck. We have good luck, magic, success. I mean, come on, Scorpio answered prayers get into it get excited allow yourself to dream and imagine what a life in the future could be here yeah getting clear about your future it's, it's getting clear about what you want in the future as well somebody here could have black rimmed glasses somebody here could have a dark brunette bob About mountains you could live in the mountains like me you could live somewhere uh, out in the country or you could live in Colorado or somewhere that has a lot of mountains you could be a hiker you could enjoy hiking there's a lot of obstacles to overcome within a connection I'm single and enjoying life oh boy caught up in a compromising position coming out with ashamed and embarrassed about past behavior. There's someone in your energy that's ashamed and embarrassed. Maybe you are ashamed and embarrassed. When we are in a toxic relationship, we will get to a point where we look in the mirror and say, who the fuck is this? I don't even know this person. I laid across a 97 Mustang, <laughs> never forget it, a 97 Mustang GT. It was my children's father, I was, my God, 19 years old, 20 years old, and I begged this man. I laid across the hood, begging him not to leave after he cheated on me, begging him, please don't leave, please don't leave. I was so scared. I was 19 years old. I had a two-year-old. I was petrified. I was so scared. I know what toxic relationships can do. I've been there. I have not been at my best in many relationships. And some of you, perhaps you are ashamed of some things that you have done. There's no need. Learn from them and grow from them, Scorp. I feel for a lot of you, why ashamed? There's someone in your energy that's ashamed. They're procrastinating. They're not making any decisions. You've caught them doing something or will. Some of you, you may catch someone doing something that uh, they shouldn't. And again, we have losing yourself. You feel lost in your partner. It's okay to be yourself and have your own life too. Scorpio, some of you have lost yourself in this person and you need to hear this. It is time to come back to yourself. Stay in your higher self now. Get your life back. 
Do not give anybody that much power over you. And that is the lesson here. Not to lose yourself in a person, but to always remain true to you. They're not talking. You're not communicating. This person will not communicate their needs. They tell other people way too many things. They're always talking and telling people things about your relationship that they shouldn't. There's too many people up in your business because this person likes to just run their mouth and paint a narrative, spin a story that's not even true. Remember, we all have our own truth. This person's truth and your truth seem to be vastly different. It does look like this is a soulmate. It does look like this person is very lustful. They're asking themselves, is this lust or love? Perhaps you are as well. They could have gotten caught with someone that they were being acting very lustful with. They feel emotionally burnt out. You feel emotionally burnt out. Tell me what about caught in a compromising position, please. Some of you, this person's about to get caught by a third party. If you are having an affair, if you are with someone that is living with another person and you're in the middle of some kind of affair, Scorpio, please be mindful that they could get caught really soon. Give me one more. Some of you, this person pretended like they were single. They told somebody they were single. You found out that they were messaging and talking to somebody and you contacted the third party or vice versa. Some of you, the third party has contacted you when you thought this person was single or just co-parenting. You found something out here. They got caught. They're very burnt out. They're in the nine of wands uh, energy. You're in the ten of wands in reverse. There seems to be a lot of pressure, a lot of adversity because of their lustful behavior and the things they have done here that they shouldn't have been doing. They're embarrassed. They're ashamed. They want to persuade you. They're confused. Everything I'm looking for, I seem to find in you. Although I find myself very attracted to you, I'm not trying to go too far. They seem to be holding back and confused. They're lonely. I'm tired of feeling alone without you. But they're so embarrassed. They don't know how to make this right. This is not somebody who does well with apology. This is not someone who comes in and can simply and easily say sorry with no, I did this because you did that. I'm sorry, but I did this because you did that. I'm sorry, but we grew apart. I'm sorry, but you are just always dealing with the kids. Whatever this person gaslights you with, they, they can't come in and just simply say, Scorpio, I made a huge mistake. It's too difficult for them because they're too much in their ego. Regardless here, you are having a win, Scorp. You're about to have some kind of victory, overcome some obstacle, and there's notable growth in your energy here. What do they plan to do? What does this person plan to do? Well, right now they're just wasting time they're dealing with deep anguish their self. They're embarrassed. They've broke their own heart. This person is burnt all the way out. But acting very arrogant and apathetic. At some point, they are going to move in towards you. But they are coming in in the devil energy here. Very destructive, overindulgent, lustful behavior. They are going to approach in the next 10 weeks. But please be mindful that there could still be this person that they got caught doing something with in the picture. Why double energy? They also could be drinking. They could be using. 
<clears throat> acting very selfish, but they want to compromise. They seem to want to compromise Five of Swords in reverse. They're coming in very love bomby though. So be mindful of that. A lot of fire in this reading. They seem to be coming in indulgent and love bomby, but they have a lot of attraction to you and they want to apologize for their past behavior. They're just so embarrassed right now. Somebody here could drink red wine. Something about red wine too. Somebody here could add red wine lipstick or nail polish. That could be the name of it. This person is about to reach out. They're going to communicate. They're going to reach out. But I don't know if they're going to be able to say they're sorry or if it's a I'm sorry I did this because you did this kind of thing. They're just, they're lonely without you. They've been, it's about divine timing. They've been dealing with some subconscious blocks. I do feel there could be a victory, some kind of happiness here by the end of Leo season, but Scorpio, be mindful that when this person comes back, because they're in this low vibration, if they don't get out of this place, they could easily do whatever it is they've done here again. It will be entirely up to you to decide that. I hope everybody has the most beautiful and blessed Saturday ever. Today's going to be the most damn Saturday I've ever had. Remind yourself that happiness is a choice, guys. You can choose to be happy. Love and light.